Hi guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to create a T glass using clear parametry. So let's get started. First of all, let me just select the working directory. Yep. So then let's click on new, unclick the default template and let's rename our part as T underscore glass. Yep. So then our unit has MMNS parts already ABS. Okay. So now here I'm just going to start my sketch over the front plane. So front plane sketch sketch view. At first I'm just going to draw a circle with a diameter value of 60. Oops, sorry. Yep. So then I'm just going to deselect this sketch and I'm just directly going for the blend and under the blend we have to select the sections right so i'm just going to select this section and towards oops towards downwards and the depth like the distance like this will be um 90 i think so yeah 90 so then sketch let's sketch our second section so for the second section i'm just going to draw a circle so this will have a very um, minimum diameter when compared to the previous circle okay so this will be 37 as a diameter value and then let's click on ok so now we have got our uh, required shape the exact dimensions here, right so then let's click on ok so now I just want to turn this on shading with edges so now I'm just going to create a new plane because I'm just going to create some extrude cut feature on this uh, surfaces of this uh, class. Okay, so new plane, let's select uh, this plane as a right plane. So then the distance. So the distance will be um, like it will be our own distance because anyway we are not going to do any kind of extrude things we are not going to create any part over this new plane we are just going to create an extrude cut feature so even if you place this um, plane like with a 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or it may be like a very maximum value it doesn't matter okay okay so then let's click on okay and I'm just going to sketch on the new plane that we have created okay so on the new plane at first I'm just going to place a point one two three and four okay so first of all this distance will be five and this will be five and the height from here to here like this will be um eight okay and then from here till here this will be forty six point seven three yeah okay so then uh, we can directly join this by lines okay so up to this up to this up to this so on the top either we can draw an arc or else you can like you can able to draw a circle and then you can make able to um, change this as an arc okay you can delete the one side of the circle okay this looks good and then let's click on okay and now I'm just going to create an extrude for this but here I'm just going to use the remove material features so for the remove material feature I'm just going to add the depth value of 23.20 sorry 20 okay so now we got created our single cut feature here but we need to do this for around um, this entire class for over eight numbers okay so I'm just going to select the extrude directly you can go for the pattern here or else you can go for the pattern here and then as an axis pattern okay we don't have any axis for this so either we can select this is that axis okay so then number of members as eight and then equally spaced so then let's click on okay so now you can see this looks like or like really good right so and the next thing that we have to do is like you can see this is a kind of fully solid part but we need to create this as a surface part as like a shell feature here right so let's go for the shell let's click on the surface and let's add the thickness value as 3 okay this looks good or else let's go for the 2 okay 2 that's fine that's fine okay and so the next thing is 
like here you can able to see this is caught extruded inside so we have to cut these features here okay so for that i'm just going to select the surface sketch and let's go for the sketch view so here at first i'm just going to draw a circle up to the inner circle dia reference okay so then i'm just directly go for the blend and let's let's select the previous sketch that we have done using our inner dia and then the depth so for the depth the total length will be 90 and that should be subtracted by this value here okay so from this cut so 90 minus 8 this will be 82 so i think uh, we can verify this with the bottom view only here yeah okay that's fine so let's go for the sketch um sketch view but here for the sketch view i'm just going to have some sectional view so that we can able to find out the exact circle here okay so circle after this reference and okay so now you can see this is got a uh, fully like uh, fully catered as a solid part again but here we may have some cut over features here okay so um okay uh, wait a minute guys let me just uh, okay so this is fine so let's click on okay so now this will be a fully solid solid part right so if we create a shell over here you can be able to see like it, it doesn't have any kind of inner cuts here okay so i'll try to change the thickness value like i don't know the minimum thickness value over here yep this is what i want okay 1.1 1 .1, yep Okay. Yeah. So, yep, that's all, guys. Like we have done this part, and uh, okay, this looks like uh, like really good. And the next thing, if you need to add or, or some things, right? Um, you can select this. You can create a extruder cut, or either it may be like extrude for this bottom to to be a stand uh, for holding a glass right so this will be 29 and this okay sorry oops okay this is fine anyway we can able to change this right so let me make let's make it as 28 okay and i just want to extrude this to a value of uh, like three is bigger one yep one that's fine okay so then we can add some couple of round features sorry round features for this okay for this one okay okay it looks good okay so then the next thing that we have to add is coloring guys so for the coloring um let me just first of all let me just add all these datum planes um for the view appearances either we can go with this or else let's try a different color here like uh, let's choose the frosted glass color for the entire part um shading we doesn't have so many good view through the shading with shading with a reflection so yeah this this looks this looks really good right and like uh, if you need to change um the planes you can go with this floor plane okay um oops yeah this is this is good and uh, i don't want the shadings and i don't want the reflections okay, shadow okay, yep yep that's all okay um if you want to increase the like a uh, and transparency or if you need to reduce the glossiness or refraction index you can able to change this here right 
I think you guys can able to understood what I'm trying to say. So that's all guys. So thanks for watching. And if you want more videos about mechanical engineering or any other content, you can comment below so that I will upload more and more videos based on your thoughts and based on your comments. Okay. So thank you guys. Like we will see the next video with a very very interesting content. Until then, bye.